It is our day two here uh, in Bergen and we have just had our breakfast and we are heading back to the city centre uh, to get uh, a fjord tour uh, perhaps. Yesterday uh, after we came back from exploring uh, we just relaxed at the hostel. There was some live music playing so we just enjoyed speaking to other people from different countries. It was a great atmosphere, so yesterday was a good day. So I'm really looking forward to today as well. We're at the harbour now. Uh, so from our hostel, uh, we took a bus uh, to get here uh, using our, bur so we used our Bergen car uh, to use the bus. And uh, we are hoping to go on a fjord tour. Uh, so we just book our uh, fjord tour here at the tourist center just behind this building. Uh, and we got 20% discount with Bergen Car, so that was nice. Uh, and the trip uh, to the fjords will be at 2 o'clock uh, in the afternoon. And it's a three hour round trip. Uh, so really looking forward to it. So it's about 11.30 in the morning now. So we are just going to explore a bit more of the city around here uh, by the harbor and then we'll be heading to the fjord too. I was looking for some good snack to take with me on the fjord cruise so I was exploring a local supermarket I found these chips they are potato sticks and they were really nice and then we went to 7-eleven got some vegan snack which was very reasonable uh, and then we explored the local shops and they have everything that's troll themed so trolls are basically a mythical creature uh, that lives uh, in the caves or in the mountains here in Norway. Soon after, we headed back to the harbour to take our cruise. So we are going on a cruise from Bergen to a fjord called Monstromen. I found booking a fjord cruise at the tourist centre was a lot more reasonable than what I could find online. So taking a fjord cruise is a popular attraction here in Bergen. So if you're in Bergen, uh, make sure you take a fjord cruise. Uh, soon after the cruise left the harbour and we were watching the spectacular views of the city. As we were exploring the harbour, I saw a lot of big ships uh, parked or uh, located here at the harbour. And we were able to see those ships very close by and they are probably big cruises uh, and they were amazing. Uh, the view from the close-up was quite nice uh, and we saw quite a few of them as we passed uh, along the harbour. As we were exploring the harbour, we also saw a couple. Uh, they were in their uh, little boat that they recently bought and they said uh, they uh, come here to Bergen, park uh, their little uh, boat uh, here by the harbour and have a day out. So it seems like people really love sailing here. I guess that's because there are many fjords all across the land uh, which are scattered all around the Bergen. Uh, when you look at the geography of Bergen, so it's apparent why people would enjoy sailing. As we left the city, we could see spectacular views of the mountains and houses located uh, in these mountains. It was absolutely beautiful. I must admit the effort of human beings to live amongst the nature is quite incredible and it is apparent uh, by the way Norwegian people live that they absolutely enjoy nature and they live in harmony with nature. Soon after, we started to see waterfalls uh, along the mountains. So fjords are basically narrow inlets of ocean in between the cliffs. Located amongst uh, these cliffs and the mountains, the views of the mountains were really amazing. It was a really nice day, we had a bit of blue sky, so it was a really enjoyable trip. 
I was really amazed by how beautiful these houses were and each and every one of them were quite unique and they were built in spaces that uh, you wouldn't expect to see houses and you can't help but wonder how people got all the materials and everything that was needed for construction but uh, you know the effort of human beings to live amongst the nature is absolutely amazing. As you can see, people have some boats parked uh, near their houses and there is a nice little church. So it looks like there might be a nice community here. Some houses uh, seemed uh, to have been scattered uh, across these mountains and quite isolated. But I guess it's a perfect space, a uh, perfect place if you want to enjoy some solitude. and houses built in these mountains it was it was a really amazing experience the fear cruise now we are back in the city center and we have already had something to eat in a kebab shop uh, that's the most reasonable meal to get here in Norway to go to a kebab shop so I had a falafel kebab uh, even kebab is 15 pounds <laughs> so uh, but anyway so now uh, I'm really excited uh, to go to a place called magic ice so it's an ice sculpture bar uh, so yeah so we are on the way now to go to magic ice it feels like christmas come early in september so i'm really looking forward to it as we arrived at this uh, ice sculpture bar uh, they gave us a really uh, nice and warm coat to wear inside and the candle uh, was a nice thing to have inside to warm up a bit uh, they gave us a really nice drink and uh, people who work at Magic Eyes are really nice and friendly. Uh, I'm not a big fan of alcohol but uh, I enjoyed my experience here. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
uh, if you haven't already please subscribe and turn the notifications on uh, so you won't miss my next video please like and comment as it really supports my channel thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye